So this is definitely my least planned trip ever. <laughs> My morning started bright and early as I headed to the bus station to go east of Seoul. This was going to be a long trip. What was I listening to on this three hour ride? I'm so glad you asked because I have been talking about this audiobook so much that Kurt no longer wants to hear about it. So I pass the burden on to you. You guys know I'm a big fan of this video's sponsor, Audible. If you don't know about Audible, let me fill you in. And if you do know, then feel free to sing along with me. Audible is one of the world's largest sources of audiobooks, podcasts, and more featuring classics, new releases, and their Audible originals, which are stories unique to Audible that range from comedy to politics and beyond. I've been listening to the bestseller Sapiens, A Brief History of Humankind, and I'm so glad that with Audible you can keep your audiobooks forever because I can already tell that I'm going to listen to this again. It's literally the history of humans, and the first 15 minutes hit me with so much knowledge, it's insane. Especially with the state of the world right now, it really helped put into perspective and remind me that we're all really just animals. It sort of helped shed that human ego we've got going on. Anyway, I'm tearing through it, I literally can't stop talking about it, so please check out Sapiens on Audible so that I can talk about it with someone. You can get your first audiobook for free, plus two Audible originals when you try Audible for 30 days. You can visit audible.com slash carrycakes or text carrycakes to 500, 500 This made my bus trip fly by and I was in the middle of Pyeongchang before I knew it. Hi guys, so this is definitely my least planned trip ever. I'm usually a pretty meticulous planner. Sorry if it's really windy. Um, I'm in Pyeongchang. I wanted to come see the sheep farm here. And um, other than booking my bus ticket and my train ticket, um, I have no idea what's going on. Like I don't even know how I'm going to get to my next destination. For some reason, I'm very calm about that, which is not normal, so I'm a little bit concerned, but Anyway, we'll just see what happens. We're gonna see some sheep, it's gonna be nice. Um, the people at the bus stop are so lovely. The taxi driver was so lovely. He gave me his business card um, in case I needed to call him to pick me up. So there's always that, but anyway, let's go uh, see the sheep. because I'm trying to use up um, the end of my film roll and they're posing perfectly. They're giving me time to set up, unlike any other animal on earth. You're not in this on your own.
Okay, I'm starving, so we're gonna try and find food, and then there is a bus that takes me to where my next destination is. However, it says it doesn't come frequently. It looks like I have to potentially cross a highway to get to it. Um, so, I really don't know what's gonna happen, but I know I can figure it out. Let's get that bus. Okay, so as I'm waiting for my bus, I really thought that I was going to be spending a lot of money because I didn't plan well. And I was really mad at myself because it's very difficult to get from um, the area I was in to Gangneung, which is where I bought my train ticket to go home from. So again, I just didn't like, I did the beginning and the end and I didn't think about the middle. However, um, I did pay for the taxi to get back to the bus station, but to go from the bus station to this one in Gangneung, it was 2,800 won. The ride was beautiful. It was like insane mountain views, but then you could also see the ocean. I am waiting for my bus uh, to go to the beach and it is the most perfect temperature. There are misters at this bus stop. Um, everyone is in such a good mood. Like, I'm just, yeah, I'm having a really great day and I'm glad I can share it with you, so. Let me keep an eye out for my bus and then let's go to beach. Okay, so we made it to the Anmok Cafe Gori, um, Anmok Cafe Street at Anmok Beach. It is an entire street filled with these giant cafes that just have huge windows. So you can sit and overlook the really beautiful beach. It is so blue. Oh my god, I, this is my first real glimpse of it up close. It is so blue. You gotta see this. The, the water is insane. Let's go. <laughs> This dude, they're like fish jumping out of the water and he is like catching them. I don't even, I don't really understand what's going on, but they're just jumping out of the water and he is there with open arms. That's my report. <laughs> So it is really hot on the sand. The sand is smoking. Um, the water though is the perfect temperature. It feels really nice. Um, so I stuck my feet in for a while until my jeans got wet and then I decided, Carrie, it's time to move to the shade. So I'm in the shade, just um, watching the water. It is so blue, I can't get over it and so clear. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna kind of sit here for a little bit and then probably we'll head to our next destination. I'm sweating now, so I'm going to go away and make myself presentable the next time I see you. Bye. <laughs> Because the buses aren't super reliable here, they come um, not as frequently as in Seoul, I had to wait quite a long time to get the bus here. So I have to cut my time at the beach quite short so that I can make my train home. Um, but this is just 
a really beautiful calming place it's so nice it's really quiet um there are lots of cafes so you're not gonna if it's like spotty weather you're not gonna run out of seats um it's just so chill i love that there are pine trees and then there are there's the ocean it's a wonderful combination so yeah having the most wholesome day ever um, oh God. and getting hit by cars. The guy who was working the cafe was so nice. He gave me service. I got the black sesame Mont Blanc and then he gave me a peanut butter. I think it was also a Mont Blanc, but anyway, delicious. Um, it was so good and it was just like really cool in there, really calm, really quiet. So if you're in Gangneung, check it out, Minimal Mood. They were so nice. So now I could take the bus. Oh, I'm gonna stop and look at this garden, but I could take the bus um, back to the station, but I think I'm just gonna walk. It is the most incredibly beautiful temperature out right now. And the sun is kind of hidden behind the building. So it's very cool. And um, yeah, I haven't, I have just enough time to walk um, if I keep walking and stop stopping to take pictures of this really pretty garden. So um, I will continue and I will update you when we get on the train. I've been telling you It's not been like it seems What I've been telling We've arrived Oh, you'd learn What I mean If you can't We will probably never know what the ancient foragers believed or what political dramas they experienced. Okay, I'm home. I'm going to pass out. It was a wonderful day. Um, just, I'm going to post a more in-depth blog post about this, but um, just keep in mind that because I did a bus, a taxi, a taxi, a bus, a train, um, round trip, like in total, um, I spent f almost 45, 44,000 won, so almost $45. Um, just on transportation so definitely keep that in mind i think you can plan it better also if you're going with multiple people your taxi fare would be split between you but um yeah i just want to put that out there that was not one of my best planned trips but considering um i did get to see a lot in one day and it was really pretty and i had a really wonderful time i'm just like very very happy and then i made it home in time to get dinner with um some old friends that i hadn't seen so that was really cool thank you for joining me i hope you enjoyed the sheep and the ocean and yeah i will see you guys next time so ta-ta